The mojo has been missing for the Odessa Permian Panthers over the last several years. Three losing seasons out of the last four to be exact. The Panthers opened up their 2014 season here in San Antonio taking on McAllen at a neutral site game. Their first ever game versus a team from the Valley. So could the Panthers finally find their mojo and get their 2014 season started on the right foot? Let's head inside of Rutledge Stadium and find out. McAllen was the designated home team for the game, but they brought the wrong jerseys, so both teams wore road whites. That mistake was just a sign of things to come for the Bulldogs, as they made too many mistakes and had no answer for Permian's rushing attack. Third play of the game, Mojo running back Brandon Bailey ran nearly untouched 49 yards to the end zone, and it was quickly 7-0 Panthers just 45 seconds into the season. Stayed 7-0 for a while as both teams turned the ball over throughout the first half. Permian's Jack Welch not able to handle the punt. McAllen's Ruben Gutierrez recovered it, though Permian held McAllen on downs. Next Permian drive and a long pass completion from quarterback Keith Wood to Kevin Hudnall for a big first down, but Hudnall lost the ball. Bulldogs' Andrew Martinez fell on it to stop another Permian scoring threat. But once the Mojo stopped fumbling the non-round-shaped object, they started putting said object into the end zone. Wood must have gotten tired of seeing the fumbles as he decided to keep it for himself this time as he dove home for a four-yard touchdown run and a 14-0 Mojo lead midway through the second. Defense came up with a big play as Israel Martinez hit McGowan quarterback Fred Hover's right arm, sending the ball fluttering up into the air right into the hands of Joshua a win. The interception in return set up the Panthers deep inside Bulldog territory. Ensuing Permian drive and Bailey bowled over a couple of McAllen linebackers on this five-yard touchdown run. He broke the plane of the goal line before losing the ball. 21-0 Permian after two touchdowns in 74 seconds. Bailey finished the game with 155 yards rushing, averaging nearly 10 yards a touch. McAllen went three and out of their next possession. Permian then went four and in, as in Kobe Robinson taking the wood option pitch and going in to score from 10 yards out, 28-0 Permian at recess. McGowan coaching staff just not sure what to think at this point as the defense gave up nearly 300 rushing yards for the game. Early third quarter, Bulldogs commit one more costly turnover as the snap on this punt attempt sails over the head of punter Caleb Youngblood. He can only eat the play, which gave Permian another short field to work with. With. Wood took advantage of the misplay with his 12-yard touchdown pass to Hudnall, who did not fumble this time. For the game, Wood completed only four passes, but two of them went for six-point scores. McAllen did score a late touchdown to prevent the shutout, but Mojo won 35-7, their first season opening win since 2008. So Permian's big win over McGowan caps off an incredible opening week for District 36A as Permian, Midland High, Midland Lee, and Abilene High all scored victories against teams from outside of Western Texas. Reporting for TexasHSFootball.com, I'm Greg Sherman.